Hello, but we're looking at the uh, new Pokemon release they did yesterday on the Nintendo Direct, the Pokemon Direct. Yeah, it's pretty interesting and the uh, following discourse which ensued from its reveal is also something we're going to be touching on in this video. But I just wanted to do a little reaction to the uh, announcement trailer they did for the expansion pass for Sword and Shield. A new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, which is going to be fun. Okay, so this expansion pass is basically like a, like a season pass for a video game or some sort of DLC which Pokemon haven't done before, but some Switch games have done like previously and they've been quite successful for it. But only Pokemon is being flamed, which is quite strange. People just like to be mad at Sword and Shield because it wasn't the game they wanted. And obviously the whole National Dex thing ain't the best, but luckily we're getting new Pokemon. So, it's all good. Let's go. So yeah, this is all Pokemon stuff we've seen so far, you know. Talon Flame is coming back quite clearly and obviously new bike designs which they uh, reveal later on i love this artwork they show us like this concept artwork beautiful oh <laughs> <laughs> oh that's hot first of all i love this boy <laughs> look at him yeah it's like a slow poke but he's got like like nachos on his head you know yeah as of, the, as of the reveal yesterday you can catch this very pokemon in sword and shield if you just go to wedgehurst station then you should be able to catch one of these for yourself and uh catch this adorable little pokemon for yourself can't evolve him yet because the dlcs are not out but there he is for your pokemon pleasure i love him he's amazing loads loads more clothing i'm excited for more trainer customization i love that shit more hairstyles and hair colors as you can see just loads more customization options for your trainer and a new trainer who you actually meet before you catch slowpoke yeah, she, she, I think she's a poison type trainer, and then this is a psychic type trainer. These are both version exclusive. The psychic type trainer is Pokemon Shield exclusive, and the sword trainer, poison type. For Corona, hell yeah. Oh, oh. Now, many people have been kind of rallying against Game Freak because they showed favorites with which Pokemon they gave a Gigantamax form to, and that was Charizard. Out of all three starter Pokemon, they only gave one to Charizard and they didn't give one to Blastoise and Venusaur. And that's obviously because here, they're getting their own Gigantamax forms. Look at that. Beautiful. That's right. Your starter Pokemon get a Gigantamax form too, which I was kind of surprised they didn't in the base game. I was like, oh, I thought they would, you know, but it's here. We're getting it in the Accenture Pass. This is Rillaboom. Cinderace. And my favourite, sniping is a good job, Inteleon. Yeah, Inteleon has a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> they gave a Pokemon a sniper rifle. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> now I'm so glad I picked Inteleon. Yeah, it looks amazing. That's the Isle of Armour, which I'm most excited to. Out of the, out of the two like things we're getting, the Isle of Armour is my personal favourite so far. I'm not really a fan of the second one, which we're seeing now. But I do like this concept art. Very nice. This is one of the new trainers. Nice rugged looking ice type mans. And there we get our own ice explorer costumes. Very nice. Oh yep, yeah, the Reggies. We can find the Reggies here. With a little bit of a twist. Yeah, hey, that's the twist. New Regis, by the looks of things. Now, originally I thought they were in Gigantamax forms, but they, they actually look to be completely different Regis in their own rights. So we've got an Electric-type Regie, a Poison or Dragon-type Regie. That might be Dragon-type, judging by the fucking massive dragon head on there. And then Slowpoke and a Slow King. We're getting a Slow King. Well, we're getting a slow, slow bro and a slow king. Hell yeah. More cosmetics though. <laughs> I'm all about that. Oh my god. You can get a Getsis eyepiece or a uh, Team Magma visor. We can dress up as former evil teams. That is fucking amazing. Aurorus as well. Oh yeah. So there's new forms for Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. Now these are either complete new Pokemon or just Galarian forms, which I believe they are. Articuno is my favourite, I think. But Zapdos is also cool. They made Zapdos cool. Look at them all there. Yeah, out of all of them, my favourite is Articuno, but then Zapdos is a close second. And then Moltres. Look at that, it looks beautiful. 
The Crown Tundra. Yeah, this is the new legendary boy. And he has two forms. So we have a dark fighting type and a water fighting type. These are the G-Max forms. There are two less big looking forms, which are the normal forms, these two. I can't remember the name. It'll be on screen. And yeah, this is another legendary we get. Very regal looking Pokemon. They have released an expansion pass. And now I should get onto my feelings about this. I think it's a good idea, personally. Because instead of releasing two new games next year or this year at full price, we get two expansion packs. Well, we get the expansion pass, which includes two DLCs for half the price. So this negates the need for Sword 2, Shield 2, or Pokemon Gun or whatever the third version would be. It negates the need for that, makes it cost a lot cheaper, and we're getting 200 new Pokemon added to the game. And on top of that, you don't need to have the expansion pass to get these Pokemon. How good is that? So yeah, when these two DLCs drop, the first one is in June and the next one is in autumn, they're going to update Pokemon Sword and Shield to allow for these new Pokemon to be claimed if you don't have the DLC. Now that is an amazing thing that Game Freak have done, and many people are comparing to EA because they've released DLC for the first time. This is very unlike EA. We know EA love their DLCs. Game Freak, this is the first time they've released DLC and they're already being shunned for it. And I, ca I can understand why, because it seems like you're paying for Pokemon. You can still get these Pokemon if you don't have the DLC. You can get the Pokemon you want for free. You're getting what you want, so please stop crying that you're not getting what you want and that Game Freak are a shit company. They're not. Yes, they made some rushed decisions with Pokemon Sword and Shield because they have to make a game every year. This is a lot harder for them. So yes, games are going to be rushed and features are going to be cut. I don't think Game Freak deserve all the hate they're getting. Now you can call me a consumer, a shill, whatever you want. I don't care. I'm just telling you, well how it is really, because you're getting the Pokemon you want. Yes, not all Pokemon are there yet, but I'm sure they will be coming. I love Pokemon, and I love what they've done with Pokemon Sword and Shield. The game is so much fun. I actually feel for people that didn't buy these games, because they are amazing fun. These new Pokemon are sick. I got a shiny Orbeetle. Look at him, what a cool guy. I just think it's a really fun game. It's the most fun I've had on Pokemon in a while, and it's on a powerful enough console that they can do expansion passes instead of releasing a new game at full price, which I greatly appreciate, to be honest. So you're paying about about 25 quid in the UK for this expansion pass, which is more than half price of a Nintendo game for retail, which is about 60, which is about what most AAA games retail at now, which is unfortunate because they're so highly priced. But these Pokemon expansion passes give you two DLCs for half the price of a game. So I'm, sh I'm going to be sure to do videos on these expansion passes when they drop. I know Pokemon content is the most popular on my channel, but I enjoy doing it. And at the end of the day, that's what my channel's there to do. Make content I enjoy doing. And I can't wait to see the adventures, especially on the the Island of Armor. Because that is going to be my... F I predict that to be my favourite, but we don't know yet. You can get both of these DLCs. No matter what version you're playing, you can get both of these DLCs. That's not going to change. I, I, I saw someone saying that one DLC was sword exclusive and the other was shield exclusive. That is not the case at all. You can play them both, whether you have sword or whether you have shield. They're just really different points, and there's slight changes in the DLC depending on which version you have, such as trainers and maybe Pokemon. But that's just par for the course of Pokemon at this point. If you have enjoyed this video, or you want to contribute to the discussion, please comment down below. Leave a like if you're excited for this. I am. I feel like it's going to be great fun. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy, I just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.